Hey guys, Buffy Game Bad today, bringing another video for our favorite weapon series. And today I'm going to be covering some changes to the Odin or the Ash 12 is known in real life. So we're going to be covering some changes they made to this cosmetically recently in here in season five and with the latest patch, as well as just going into some multiplayer gameplay. And then I'm also going to make some discussion about the uh, hacker issue that I've been seeing not only in Warzone but also in multiplayer. So let's go ahead and jump right in with. So here is the final version of the new looking Odin or the Ash 12.7 millimeter assault rifle so we'll go ahead and back out here and what i'll do is strip this down first off you'll see i'm using the black asp blueprint here there's also the care bear i believe it's called and the base odin that you can build this with too but first off we'll strip this down and you can see first the really the main and only difference we're going to be covering here is the monolithic suppressor so Previously, this used to be a thin monolithic suppressor, similar to what you would see on, if I could just jump to another another weapon here, like any uh, any M4 or a westernized type weapon. We'll just look at the MCX, for example. So it was basically a monolithic suppressor, just like you see here on the MCX or the M13, which was that long, elongated, a uh, little bit longer profile type suppressor there. And on the Ash-12, or the Odin as it's known here in game, the... Colossus suppressor is one one suppressor that we had in real life, and also the monolithic suppressor was one that was missing. So if any we have any Tarkov fans out there, people that follow this weapon in real life, this is a suppressor that actually comes with a weapon, not the elongated one that we just looked at on the MCX. So like you'll see on the M4s or all the other weapons have basically the exact same type of suppressor. So this is pretty much the same mono suppressor we see on a lot of the sniper rifles. I believe if we were to look at well, any of my sniper rifles here, let's take a look at the HTR. You just see. The monolithic suppressor is essentially the same thing. This one just has a different blueprint on it. But if we look at the default suppressor there, it's the same exact suppressor as you see on the sniper rifle. So they've made that cosmetic change, which is really nice. And we'll jump back to it here. So let's go ahead and build it. So we're going to obviously throw on the monolithic suppressor. This is going to assist with the sound suppression, damage range, the cons here being the ADS speed, and aim walking steadiness. So we'll go ahead and put that one on. And then obviously just to note, as I said before, we'll... The Colossus Suppressor is also a real-life option for this weapon. You're going to get the same pros and cons, just you'll get the addition of the recoil control with this one also. So just keep that in mind. The only issue is this is obviously a huge suppressor. It's almost as long as the weapon is, so you're going to be... Uh, it's not as low profile as the new monolithic suppressor is, so you're definitely going to stick out. Specifically, if you're trying to like shoot through doors or something like that, you, your barrel of the weapon or the suppressor may stick out. So just keep that in mind. Then the barrel, we're going to want the Odin Factory 420mm barrel for this. The pros here, the ADS speed, movement speed, cons are the bullet velocity and the recoil control. Laser, for this particular gameplay, I'm going to be running a 5 milliwatt laser. You can also do a 1 or attack. Really, it's personal preference. This specific version of the Odin, the Ash 12.7, is built for CQC engagements. And we want to build it and bump it up for hip fire because it hits so hard with that 50 caliber round. So... 5 milliwatt laser, hip fire accuracy, and the sprint to fire speed are our pros. The cons here being the laser is going to be visible to enemies if you're just steadily walking or standing around. So if you're sprinting or ADSing, that won't be the case. So just keep that in mind. Put that on. Now the optic, because the AS 12.7 or the Odin here is a Russian uh, rifle, we're going to want a Russian optic to stay true to life. So we're going to put the Viper or the Cobra, as it's known in real life here on the weapon. This is going to assist with the precision sight picture. The cons here being the ADS speed. So we'll go ahead and put that on. And then we're going to skip out on the other options. Definitely personal preference if you want to put a stock option on. Uh, I would definitely... Aiming stability is good, but we're going for more CQC engagement. So you would probably want the Elite Comb would be one good option you could throw on here. And you can see just the different blueprint options here that you would have as well. So... We'll go ahead and skip that rear grip ammunition. You have the 25 round or the 30 round magazine available for this. We're going to go with the under barrel and uh, the Merc foregrip is probably what you're going to want here. Specifically, just really because you're using it for CQC engagement. So we want to bump up that recoil control from the hip. So we're going to assist us with the recoil control, which is going to give you better recoil control than the Merc. However, they did nerf this a little bit more. So your movement speed overall is going to be slower than a Ranger foregrip. But the addition here that you get, which is nice, is the hip fire accuracy. So if you're going to be hip firing this you definitely want a merc foregrip cons here are the aim walking movement speed and the ads speed so we'll put that on this is the final design for our new odin or our ash 12.7 so you can see here very nice looking with that new suppressor i'm glad they finally added this this is something that looked really odd with the monolithic suppressor i always wanted to play around with the monolithic suppressor on this weapon but it just looked visually 
absurd, so I never put it on. But uh, I'm glad they put this on. You can see here, it, it just looks great. So you, this is definitely a new option now on top of the Colossus Suppressor if you're going for just aesthetics, which I, I typically do my builds around. But jumping to the gameplay here, you can just see I'm going to be using this in a realism gameplay mode. Just utilizing it for hip fire and also just showing off how devastating this weapon is. I really do love using the Odin. I think it really is probably... If not my top, one of my top favorite weapons in the game overall. I have a lot of them, but this is definitely one that's just always a lot of fun to use. And it hits so hard that you can you can get away with a hip fire with this. Because it's going to hit one or two hit kills, depending on your range here. And you're going to take people out. Especially here, we're playing realism. So if you get that headshot in, you're also pretty good too. But you can just see how this thing handles. Now, kill streak wise I'm working on the... Uh, the challenge for the PKM there with the Zeneco style rails and everything on it for the handguard and the stock option. So I forgot the name of the actual challenge, but I have to call in X amount of specific kill streaks. So that's why you'll see I'm running the care package here instead of uh, some normal kill streaks like a chopper gunner or an AC-130 like I would typically would use in multiplayer. But I get a couple of those in this game, which is good. Just throwing them out there, not really trying to go for kill streaks, just trying to get my uh, three kill streaks in this case because I'm running hardline as well uh, to get myself that airdrop there but again you can see here in the gameplay very nice handles really well from the hip but again just a devastated weapon even though we have it built for cqc engagements on your typical multiplayer map here like i think we're probably showing is your cave here um you can still you can still engage at pretty good ranges and again if you're tap firing especially uh you're going to be even more accurate it's really just going to be a two tap kill and if you can get that headshot here in realism it's going to be a one hit kill which is always very nice so let me know what you guys think of this. Do you like the new monolithic suppressor on the Odin or the S12? Definitely a nice welcome change for me. Like I said, very nice to use. I think I would probably still prefer the Colossus suppressor, but again, with the mono here, we now have a nice aesthetically pleasing looking mono suppressor. And the pros here are really that you're, you gain that movement speed. You're not as slow. Your damage at range and control may be down a little bit, but it's really not that significant. But I think if you're going for CQC style engages, this is definitely the one you want to be using now. It's very nice. But let me know down below what you guys think of this. Now, to my other topic, specifically in Warzone lately, I think even in um, some of the streams here, we've been running into a lot of hackers. And I know Activision just threatened lawsuits against some of the main, uh, or the largest companies that produce hacks for Call of Duty and Warzone. So that's really good to see. You know, they shut down their services, but again, Definitely running into some blatant aimbot and wall hackers in Warzone. That a lot of you guys, if you're tuning in for the live streams that we do uh, Sunday, Wednesdays, and Fridays, later in the Eastern Standard Time, 7.30 to 10-ish, you'll have seen that a couple streams here. And typically when I'm playing, I run into at least one or two a day um, when I'm trying to get footage. And specifically today, just playing some multiplayer and realism, trying to just have some fun with the Odin here. Uh, get some nice multiplayer gameplay for you guys for once for a change here. Um... I ran into at least three guys that were using uh, wall hacks for sure. So it's just very, it's definitely frustrating. We were in a game, just uh, realism. I believe we were playing headquarters and within the, the second headquarters, uh, one of the dudes had 30 plus kills, which is just ridiculous. And uh, running a kilo, one for one, just not, I'm not sure if he had aimbot too, but uh, he was definitely hiding the fact that he did have aimbot. But on a couple of kill cams, you can just see and just watching him tracking everyone through the walls knowing exactly where you're going to be pre-aiming the walls when you're way not even close to coming over the wall you wouldn't be able to hear your footsteps pinpointed the location very odd so just seeing things like that and then on the other hand uh even though it wasn't super obvious it is very hard to tell now unless you're being very very blatant about it but i think in that instance it was pretty clear to me because i do run into it quite a bit but also with a lot of the weapons at the kilo and some of these other very low recoil weapons with high rates of fire it is so hard to tell if somebody's aimbotting or not because weapons simply don't have recoil and then you're running something like this the odin which kicks uh, an extreme amount specifically just just when you're trying to go full auto with it versus compared to something like a kilo now granted that's accurate because the odin fires at 12.7 millimeter which is a, a 50 caliber round versus a 5.56 but to say there's no recoil on a kilo whatsoever, the thing is basically like a laser. Same with a lot of these weapons. And the Odin, at least, they got right with some nice recoil on there. But it can be definitely hard to tell about hackers, which I don't think there's a recoil problem. I really think the recoil on those 5.56 weapons is fine. But it's also just an issue because the amount of hackers that you run in, you really can't tell nowadays if somebody's good at hiding their hacks. I know there's been a lot of streamers lately on PC that <laughs> I think just the most recent 
instance of this is someone bragging about how good they were and uh, how hard they worked and everything like that and like he had his hacks just like blatantly up on the screen he didn't even know about did like wasn't paying attention and i think someone in his his house's roommate or somebody told him and he freaked out but and that happened to another streamer just probably a month prior to that too so uh very very interesting how bad hacking is in this game so hopefully with this new lawsuit uh that gets shut down so I suspect what will happen is now that that company or the companies are not providing new hacks for Modern Warfare or Warzone, um, Infinity War can get ahead of the game now with the next patch or update that will render those most recent versions of that obsolete. I'm sure they threatened with lawsuits that they had to turn over any of the software they had that was producing hacks. That way they can reverse it here and see exactly what's going on. Hopefully drop some patches in the next title update. That'll render those obsolete, or maybe do what we, we saw them say a while back, that the hackers would be massed against hackers. Something like that to detect specifically what's going on in the back end uh, for the people that are running those on their end. But we'll have to wait and see what happens there. Hopefully, they can resolve that. This game is a lot of fun, and I really look forward to playing this as well as Black Ops Cold War in the future. I think Modern Warfare will definitely be a staple here on the channel for a while to come here and there as well. We'll see how good Cold War is, but I do have a lot of fun with this game, so if they can keep it hacker free or at least slow it down for the most part for a while here i know they're planning on supporting warzone for quite some time so hopefully they can get ahead of that i think this is a good step with these lawsuits that were filed here so we'll stay tuned see how the situation goes let me know what you guys think of the new odin or the s 12.7 millimeter the new monolithic suppressor i think nope they never really announced it it wasn't any of the patch notes and i did notice early on in season five as soon as it launched there was a blueprint for the odin in Warzone that you started with in the pregame lobby that I got that I noticed this was there and then I noticed that the actual art when going to select the mono suppressor was different as well but it wasn't applied to the weapon yet and then when the most recent update that they did uh, it finally fixed it so now the model changed to what you see here so very nice addition to the game just small little details like this go a long way I really appreciate this let me know what you guys think down below the new monolithic suppressor on the Odin or the S12.7 let me know what your favorite loadout is for this weapon in multiplayer and Warzone be sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel for more content if you're enjoying the content here. As well as check out the live streams on Sunday, Wednesdays, and Fridays, typically around 7.30 p.m. we start. And until next time, this is Buffner Gaming, out. Oh. Oh,